Hello guys, Rad here from Rad Tarot. Welcome to the channel and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and uh, Sagittarius Rising weekly tarot reading for um, February 25th to March 3rd, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, which by the way are going to be the traditional reader white tarot deck, um, I want to remind you once again that that is going to be a, a general reading for Sagittarius star sign and for that reason the general reading itself is going to resonate in a different way with uh, the different Sagittarius. If you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be uh, analyzed by me through tarot, then that is a subject for personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is uh, listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find full list of my services as well as their pricings. And if you go for that option, don't forget that uh, until the end of um, February, the whole services are with uh, reduced costs. So, you know, I get more accessible to people in struggle, in need, in financial one, especially. So that being said, going to the spread, the first card that we do have... Uh, this is going to be the death card, which represents the topic of uh, your week, Sagittarius, is, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation that is to be the page of pentacles. Third card, that is going to be the positive approach toward the situation. Uh, we do have the hangman. And the last one is going to be the, um, how can I place it? The outcome of growth should you follow the guidance that Saro is offering to you here in, through these couple of cards, that will be the Seven of Cups. So once again, that will be the Death card, first one, followed by the Page of Pentacles. Third card that we do have, that is to be the Hangman. And the last one, we do have the uh, Seven of Cups. So quite of a watery cards, uh, which means that that is going to be a bit of an, an emotional week for you. Uh, and uh, that is due to the fact that things are going to start changing, obviously, with the death card having in there. That they, uh, but I will go to the change that it is marked by the death card. But these, um, this reading or that week, it will be uh, beneficial for you if you are a bit more cautious and you allow the situation to unfold rather than to try to grasp it at the very start. So it's kind of like a warning here what we do have with this reading rather than a, um, how can I place it, rather than a, a, a true guidance how to basically utilize action. What that reading says is the best action you can do throughout the week, regardless of what is happening around you, is no action at all. And we are going to get into it in a minute. So um, the first card, which is the topic of your week, death card, well, everybody who tried even a little bit of the tarot, it knows that this is about change. So death comes around, takes away what no longer serves you and replace it with the same type of thing, which now has a room or rather like it has life into it. Which means that the death card could refer to the ending of your job, for example, and replacing it with a new one. But as we said, you should not rush it. We're going to get into that in a minute. Or it could be the ending of your relationship and the replacement of your relationship with another one, which has life in it. Or it may not be that ominous. You know, it doesn't have to relate to a whole subject. It could relate to a milestone. For example, your relationship, the current state of your relationship is already over, exhausted, and now it's time for you to step into the next level. In these cases, the death card could represent, you know, ending up of a uh, era of dating and now getting to live with, with each other, being engaged, and so on and so forth. The thing with the death card is that it's so broad that you can't literally kind of like you, you need to have a certain type of questions so you can tell how the debt is going to manifest but in the grand scheme of things what the debt does it makes something which no longer serves you in any way to go away basically no longer to be in present in your life and replace it with the same type of thing 
which uh, now has life in it. You, you can cultivate it, you can nurture it, it will thrive, it will grow, and from it you are gonna extract a, a great deal of benefits. Now, important thing, however, is that with the, sometimes the debt comes with a little bit of un, unpleasant uh, symptoms in a sense of that, you know, you, too, you are too strongly hold, holding tight into whatever the death wants to take away. And that could provoke some emotions of pain, okay? So, for example, um, your relationship isn't going on very well. That is just for an example. And uh, you know that there is no way, or deep down within yourself, you know that there is no way that can work out. But this kind of state where you're hoping that this relationship will come around, once again, you are going to reconcile and yet not having that opportunity kind of obstructs you from being in a new relationship. Then death comes around and basically it takes away that relationship. Of course, you can borrow its time, right? It all comes to your decision. But if you borrow its time, then we move forward with the fool's journey and we go to the temperance, we go to the, the devil and that battle's time eventually ends with the tower card. And when the tower card hits you guys, my God, it's going to be far worse than if you just let go right now. So my point here is, is that whatever isn't working in your life at that point or in this week, you just simply got to let it go. Because at that field of the same field of your life, it will be replaced with a, a different enterprise same of its type but this time around something that you can actually benefit from the accompanied card of the death that is going to be the uh, nine of wands and what they form here is um, passive enemies and basically uh, the, the whole flavor of the nine of wands it says that you are you you cannot do anything to prevent it eventually to happen you can do to prevent it right now by readopting position making minor changes into your behavior into your routine you know into your performance as well and so on and so forth aligning yourself to the situation being patient as well kind of like enduring um if we are following the the uh, um example here of relationship isn't working out very well enduring the ruthless behavior of your ex who just, you know, abuse you in any way they can. And yeah, that could kind of like prolong the inevitable here, but ultimately the inevitable is gonna happen. It's just, it adds a flavor that it, you can't avoid it. That could be said as well from the death card. You can borrow time for sure with the nine of wands, but the more time you borrow, the stronger the storm is going to be. So once again, what these cards are asking you is to just let go of it. Do not kind of try to invest a lot into something that does not have any prospects anymore. And uh, in reality, the only thing that you need to do throughout the week is to recognize that what is done is done and proceeding on forward with it, it is going to be just stressful and um, really futile. Which leads us, by the way, to the uh, second card, that it is the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is all about devotion. And it's all about, uh, especially in this position, the belief that your efforts eventually are going to get results. You know, recently I had a reading uh, with a client of mine. I'm not going to say the name. I'm not going to say this. Well, the situation was basically that uh, simply things aren't working out with a suitor of theirs, you know, and that was the thing. I mean, people don't change, okay? This is if we follow the example of a relationship. People don't change, no matter how you invest in it, no matter how big devotion you you throw into it. I mean, it's, if they don't, if they haven't changed until now, for the, through the process, from the start of you throwing into all that devotion in it, they ain't gonna change at all. So, um, in that case, this card uh, really throws, you, throws into you the question, does the efforts really justify the results? Is it worth borrowing time upon something? And uh, are you not throwing personal means 
and um, kind of like personal resources not just money but i'm talking also about time nerves as well because for sure one poignant situation can scrape down your nerves and so on and so forth into nothing but a plight so it will be good thing here with the page to just cut off any kind of performance or, or, or any kind of devotion into these things in your life that is not working at that very moment. Don't try to fix it, at least according to that card. Just wait and see what is going to happen. And if that person, if we're following the example, loves you as much as they claim, they will do what is necessary to make the things work. But if they do, don't do anything to make the things work, then what is left for you to do but just walking away and that that's the simple truth this is the way that i always saw the things and this is how that reading here shows it as well additionally with the page of uh, pentacles it will be uh, beneficial for you um how can i place it not to get way too close and especially intimate with uh, with friends of yours as well. Not that things cannot happen, but the appearance of that card in this position points that it's gonna be a bit premature at that moment, and in a sense of that you don't know each other very well yet. So the card says that you may have that um, deeper emotional connection with a friend of yours, but it's going to be someone who, or with a, a common owner of yours, but it's going to be someone that you know very little about. So it's going to be a good thing if you, like, likewise, you know, kind of be patient and try to research more about that person before actually jumping forward into a certain enterprise or endeavor. The accompanied card of the uh, Page of Pentacles, that is going to be the Sun card we are forming here, or the cards are forming passive neutrals once again. So instead of being uh, plummets into the plights that Death card is trying to get you rid of, uh, it will be awesome if you actually enjoy yourself with things that gives you joy in general. I mean, take it easy. It is what I'm trying to say. Your relationship isn't working out. Well, fine. Go and have a cup of coffee with the friends of yours. Go to a cinema with them or just go hiking if that is something that kind of will going to make you feel good. The, um, the sun card here, it does represent the necessity of where one should kind of recharge themselves with vital uh, with vital energy. And also as a um, passive neutrals, it does point that, how can I place it, that your contribution from now on is not going to make that situation, which is uh, the one that the debt is trying to take away from you, uh, kind of like to develop naturally the whole point here of these cards is that you did what you could and now if your job or your marriage or your relationship or whatever the death is trying to uh change in your life is to persevere it's gonna happen because of the other person because of the circumstances and so on and so forth simply with these cards you did what you could and now you need to allow that thing to unfold in any way that it is supposed to unfold with the death card once again it could break or it could go into the next level once again it depends on your situation but one is for sure at the end it's not going to be the same at the end of the week all right so if your marriage is really in the rocks it's not going to be the same at the end of the week if your career is at rocks it's not going to be the same at the end of the week and um, so you need to kind of like throughout the week uh, Sagittarius says you basically have to play the role of observer rather than of initiator you just observe and see where that change is taking place what thing is actually trying to walk away from you or to detach from your life and as soon as you recognize it, you know, just don't stop it. Allow it to just go away because it's going to be replaced. One more example of that I want to give you is, let's say that you talk with someone, you, you really chat, you don't, you don't even date at that specific point. And suddenly throughout the week, in the first couple of days, the messages stop and that person doesn't respond to you. 
So the immediate, you know, the immediate thought that one can have is what is wrong and I have to get in touch with them in any way I can. So you start placing emails, trying to get in touch through common owners and so on and so forth. While with these cards, you just have to let it go. I mean, leave them be and uh, whatever has to happen is going to happen. And it's, it's a very good week really where you should not stress out for anything that is going on around you because things are gonna fix on their own accord should you have the endurance through patience. And that is very well displayed here with the third card of the reading, which is the hangman. And what the, hang po the hangman points is that the skies now darkens are gonna be, darken, excuse me, are gonna be put into light again. Uh, but in order that to happen, only thing you gotta do is just wait. So the appearance of the hangman, it's kind of like, it, it kind of adds a bit of a, uh, ominous shade to the reading saying that whatever you try to save whatever the death is trying to take away from you are going to be a futile efforts really it's kind of like banging your head against the wall so instead especially if that thing which is walking away from you it's rather poignant and you really kind of like counted on it so much then what you need to do by spending time with yourself I not doing anything to prevent it is to look at the world from a different perspective just like the man is doing here hanging upside down from the tree seeing the world upside down in other words obtaining a, a different uh, a different perspective through that perspective that will be some sort of a, a test from the fate uh, for you to see that this ain't the end of the world and actually as the things are bad right now this is just a down that you are in but after one down an up is following immediately so things are going to improve and once again only thing that you gotta do here guys it's just wait but i will get back into the uh death card just so i can make my points a little bit clearer here so what we do have with the death card is an emperor died by the death, you know, the death comes and takes away the emperor, but the empire stays, I mean, stays. I mean, another emperor here, it's taking the place of the old one. So if your relationship is to walk away on you, well, then another one is gonna replace it. That's my point. If your career is to walk away on you, another one is gonna replace it. When, I, in the near future, I could say, but maybe not in this specific week. So it's not going to be a quick substitution. You will need to give it time to kind of like develop the new situation to develop. And this is going to be the test that you need to do. With the hangman, it's most likely the new... Um, the new enterprise is going to find you on its own accord. I mean, the hangman says that the, the problems that you're experiencing through the death card are literally going to solve themselves on their own accord through your patience. And uh, basically, it is, it is that. It's just be calm and uh, don't initiate in, uh, in anything that can change in any way your environment. Just let it develop on its own and the accompanied card here this is going to be the seven of one so what we um, what we have are passive enemies and basically these cards call for resignation just be humble about it just resign that it is what it is and whatever is supposed to happen it's going to happen now uh, you probably know especially those who kind of like being uh, in a reading with me that I say that almost nothing is carved in stones. Well, although oh, as this is true and you have, uh, you pretty much forge your faith, the circumstances are rather forged. How you're gonna take on them are, are kind of like carved in stones. How you're gonna take on them will define your next circumstances. So what my point here is, is that how you're gonna take on these circumstances will carve in stones your next circumstances, all right? But you always have a right to choose. So something that happened in the recent past defined that. It is what, what I'm pointing, defined what they, this reading is telling here. And now you need to allow the time, the new circumstances to develop 
and then think of how you are to act don't try to fix what happened in the past that's my point and the last card that we do have this is going to be the seven of cups the outcome of growth should you follow the advice of tarot and uh, the very least with this card sagittarius is you are going to become much more emotionally balanced things that created you pain beforehand of the end of the week are no longer going to attack to kind of like touch you emotionally furthermore big illusions that you had are going to be blown away and you will no longer deceive yourself with what could happen and how could happen you will very well know what awaits you in the near future and with this card it is likely that you're gonna take the right kind of like measures or rather like the right mindset in order to tackle with it and to be the most prosperable as um, as possible basically what you are going to become here is being grounded not believing into celluloid expectations celluloid statements and daydreaming as well so that that will no longer be in uh, in your environment basically with this card what the card says is that through this uh, through this process you will sober yourself for your situation or situations for your career or for your relationship as well and uh, the accompanied card that is the tree of swords so uh, the tree of cups excuse me so with the tree of cups here um, how can I place it uh, you are going to attract people around you so uh, it's at least from that perspective there won't be any empty spaces there um, <clears throat> and with through these people which are going to be new supportive of yours it is how you're going to expand your vision and it is how you're gonna basically banish the illusions and the daydreaming from your life this card here asks you to truly seek uh, a, 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 an appropriate social circle of yours that matches completely with the new the new dawn that you are entering in you know as the death is the ending of one era and the start of another which is the dawn of new era you have to find the appropriate social circle or the appropriate people who are in the similar position like you are because they uh, and who knows very well what you are going through so you together can contribute with your ideas with your vision and you can share your emotional state as well how how well you feel or how bad you feel and so on and so forth so just to summarize that guys uh, i i do apologize for taking a little bit of an ominous approach toward the reading but the reading can be very very positive like i said at the start that could refer to ending of an era of the current milestone in your relationship where you are jumping into a, a further milestone uh, into a uh, upper milestone of the relationship which could be out from dating you know to a marriage and to um kind of like or, or to live together or it could be as well a sign of promotion which is going to be a reassignment here you're not going to be in the same department but it's going to be a promotion nonetheless so in that case you should not struggle against it that is the thing so if your partner um proposes you with a ring you know just according to these cards just accept it okay i mean if you don't accept it why you are together even that's that's the thing so uh, it will be one way or another one or you sagittarius are gonna sober yourself for how you stand where you stand and what no longer serves you anything so you can detach yourself from it so you can cut the dead weight and proceed on forward with in the future with much more room for substantial things to take place in it and to grow so that being said guys this was your weekly tarot reading for uh february 25th to march 3rd 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, once again, that was a general reading for Sagittarius star sign. And for that reason, the reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with different Sagittarius. Now, if you want more personal touch uh, on your situation, meaning that to my, my uh, I to interpret the cards according to your situation, 
that is a subject for personal reading and for personal readings you can go to my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're gonna find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and if you go for that option don't forget that right now till the end of February which are a couple of days left uh, all of the prices of all of the services are with massively reduced costs so I can make myself more accessible to the people in struggle especially in a financial struggle so yeah that being said Rat signing out now see you next time bye